chosen ones, man. What's going on, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. I just want to talk about how these Decepticons, man, they always got to compare and contrast. You know what I'm saying? They always got to stalk and just watch what the chosen ones are doing. It could be the littlest thing in the world, but they always got to compare themselves to the chosen ones. These Decepticons out here, they want to be us so bad. They want to fit in. They want to measure up to the chosen ones. Yeah. And everything you do is like, they sit back, chosen ones, and they watch. They fold their arms. They sit back and they think to themselves, how can I be better than the chosen one? Because these people are jealous of the magnitude and the anointing and the blessing over your life. I could go into Saul and David's story. I could go into Saul's story. Um, I could go into the I could go into the story of how some people chosen ones they could be a king or a queen. They could if they knew how to focus on themselves. You know what I'm saying? They already got all the chips in the basket already for themselves, but they still want to compete and compare and contrast. And they can't compete where they can't compare. They can't. They can't even sit with the chosen ones. And and they allow their, their weakness um, to bleed over into everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the sad part, chosen ones, is that we just do us. We just do us and we and, and we don't make it look good. God makes it look good. We don't even make it look good. We don't gotta make it look good. You know what I'm saying? God makes it look good. Everything we do, it, 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 it's it's a it's a it's a a certain way that we do things that makes and forces other weaker vessels to watch and stare, chosen ones, and then they they try to reinvent and copy and do exactly what you're doing, or they try to meet you on that level, even if they try to act like they're not watching chosen ones, they're always watching. Even if they try to, even if they sit back, chosen ones, and they watch what you're doing, and then they go try to do something else and use you as inspiration. The crazy part is the chosen vessels don't mind being seen as uh, motivation and innovation and these these beautiful things. But it's a thin line between competition and innovation. Um. Some people, they just got to let you know. Also, let's take it there real quick. A lot of people, chosen ones, they always want to let you know. Yeah, you, you got a car, but now I'm about to go get a car. They try to let you know, chosen ones, you got a job. Now I'm going to sit near you or get around you and let you know that I got a job or that I'm trying to get a job. I see what you're doing, chosen one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna put it in your face what I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying, chosen ones? You don't even care. You just do you. You just you don't even care for people to know what you do and don't do. These people make sure you see what they do. They put it in your face. And sometimes, chosen ones, because we're we're the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we get so fed up with people trying to measure up that we have to go into hibernation mode and not show our hand. We have to go into hibernation mode, chosen ones, and not even portray the true things that's going on in our life because there's so many naysayers. There's so many people waiting to see what you're going to do so they can curse it and they can warp every little thing in your life. It's people, chosen ones, who they're in so much competition with you that they literally sit back. And have you noticed as people around you, chosen ones, that they'll literally ask you something that has nothing to do with what the answer they want they want to uh, they want to know? They'll ask you something like, "Hmm, I won't be too. I won't be too." But they'll ask you something about your business that they know is a, a, a boundary in the first place, so to speak. They'll ask you a personal question. It has nothing to do with them. And something in your gut will just 
say, whoa, 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 like, because the younger you chosen one, the younger you would be naive and might answer the question. But the more enlightened um, chosen one, you know that there's certain things I'm not willing to put a, a, a narcissist or a Decepticon in my business. And they will ask those questions in a, in a, in a, in a quick moment and they'll go under your nose because these people are so nosy and they're always trying to dig up your business. They're always taking a shovel and they're always trying to dig up your personal life because they know that the best way to curse somebody is to is to get intimate and in, and get into the the guts of the of the information. You know, it's easier to curse somebody family from the inside versus doing it from like a stranger or somebody like that because let me tell you something. Even if you try to curse a stranger, you can't you can't you wouldn't uh you're not getting the details enough to know whether the curse is actually activated or not a lot of times so it's not really worth doing because let me tell you a devil wants a devil or a demon chosen ones they want to be able to laugh at you when everything start going bad so they want to be they want to um watch you suffer and that's what i'm saying as a chosen one we're totally different when's the last time chosen ones you put a curse on somebody When's the last time you try to compete with somebody? When's the last time you try to compare with somebody? You don't even walk around like that. Hence, the chosen one. You're not in competition with nobody. This is why the reward that you're going to reap as a chosen one is going to be so high. That's why the altitude and the magnitude is going to be so high. You're going to soar high like an eagle because you are the chosen one. You're going to soar high like an eagle, and, and that's the beautiful thing. You're unique. And that's why it's so hard for chosen ones to be around people sometimes, because a lot of people, chosen ones, they're so busy trying to live vicariously through somebody. So when you get around people, it's like you don't even want to be bothered after five minutes of being around them because you feel like your soul is being sucked out of your body just by hanging around. A vacuum, like, it's like these narcissists are like vacuums, you know, they're energy vampires. And you need every drop of your energy to build the future for yourself, to pave the future. You dig what I'm saying? Every moment of the day, chosen ones, you're paving a new future. Every day counts, and that's what they don't want you to know. That's why they're going to hate me for uh, telling you this, uh, this download. And this is why, if you're on this video... You're, you're definitely a chosen one. And you definitely came by this video for a reason. You're definitely here for a reason. Um, if you're a true chosen one, then you know what I'm talking about. As far as these, these Decepticons, they're always looking to compete and compare. And, and like I said, this is the ugliest part about it. They want to compete and compare where they don't belong. So if they're doing that, they're messing up your life. If you give them even an inch of attention, you start to, you, don't you notice you start to feel like your life is deconstructing immediately, immediately, not less than a couple seconds. You, you start to feel drained. Your underarms might start sweating. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are sent from Satan, so they're going to make you nervous because what I mean by they're going to make you nervous, because obviously you're the more powerful person and you make them nervous. But when they're on their demon time, they actually have the ability. Because let me tell you something. If you indulge in bad food, right? If you go to McDonald's and you indulge in bad food, that food has power over you. Just like if you let a narcissist in your life, you're indulging in. Even if they came to you first, but you were responding you're in, you're in, in de, you're endangering your own uh, body and energy because your energy and your body going to be like, hey, yo, Will, what are you doing? You're the chosen one. Why are you even, you know what I'm saying? Why are you even in, endangering us like that? Real talk. Why are you endangering us by, by, by giving these empty vessels your attention? Why are you giving an empty vessel your attention? It's like, it's like you're wasting your work, you're wasting your, your energy, you're wasting your time, 
And these people are like the Joker and Batman. They're always able to throw you off in these little, 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 uh, little, little, um, little weird ways. So this is a, a download that came to me, chosen ones, and just told me to remind you, have a good day, man, and stay out the way because these Decepticons, chosen ones, they're always looking to throw you off. They're always looking to, to uh, put their self in between you and where you need to go. So just be aware, just keep your eyes open, know that they're always gonna try to keep themselves in the middle between you and where you need to go because they know if they don't do that, chosen ones, they can't compete at all because you're gonna walk straight into success. You're gonna walk straight into success. <clears throat> so they always try to make sure that they, they trip you up before you get to your destination. They always try to make sure they tri that they trip you up before you get to your destination, chosen ones. Please like this video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below, man. It's your boy Will, man. I'm out, man. Peace.